Let's talk celebrity big brother. Oh. Richard Arnold is here in the studio with his own guest. Yes, we're very <laughs> excited about it. I mean, feel free to chip in, but I am quite invested. As Friday's final creeps close, the last night saw Marisha Wallace and Zizi Mills fall at the last hurdle and leave the CBB house. But credit where credit's due, they lasted 16 mm -hmm. days and they were Louis. And we've got one of those brave gals with us this morning. But first, let's take a look at our best bits. Go, 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 go. Are you planning to hold back in the big brother house? Absolutely not. We go. So, Zizi, I want to get to know you better. What do you want to know about me? Everything. I'm in risky territory right now. Yeah, I have an opinion, but I'm not always walking around like... She's just very sure of herself, and she's very opinionated about everything. If you want to come and be our dog, Zizi is eating that. The sick housemaid to be evicted is Zizi. <laughs> ZZ Mills, you're live on Good Morning Britain. Do not swear. Do not swear. That How was... are you? 12 hours. It's been less than 12 hours. Have you slept? I have not actually slept, but I think it's because I've been so excited about everything. See my mum, see my brother, speaking to some friends, and then you go into the deep hole of social media and then you're reading everything. Oof. But I know, I That's know, brave. I know. That is brave. I know, I know. But Never read the comments, ZZ. Never read the I comments. Know, Bottom I'm... half the internet is banned. I'm used to get... I, with what I do and give my opinion, I usually get, like, a nice balance of, like, right. people disagree with me, not agree with me, so I'm kind of used to it a little bit. Obviously, this is on a whole larger scale, so, yeah. Key thing is that reaction when you come out, though, and you were lit and uh, there were no boos, because, obviously, it could be quite quite the crowd, can't it, because everyone's so invested and so passionate mm -hmm. about it. And when you mm -hmm. see the housemates in the house, at that moment before they may or may not be evicted, you right. can tell they're on a knife edge. The it, fear is real, right? It's so, like... That's the one thing that everybody in the house is really nervous about, is just hearing boos. Because obviously you don't know why they're booing, you don't know what they've seen, you don't know how you've been perceived. So it's just a, you're a bag of nerves. So once I heard the cheers, I was like, OK, I can, like, I can, like, let let go and like en enjoy the moment. But I, it was, yeah, it was really nice to hear that. And I'm really humbled and really grateful that, you know, people was cheering, yeah. Louis. <laughs> I'm just going to sit back now. We're right, get the popcorn because out. Because we didn't even reach the fairy tale argument oh. where you and Louis were going at each other, hammer and tongs. That was gold. Should we remind ourselves of that? I yeah. think we've got a little bit of that. Have, have we got that? I think we might have that. Here we go. I've made my decision. I'm not changing. We clearly can see can that. Can you go? Can you just shut up about it? Don't tell me to Please. shut up, Eva. You're so righteous. Get the violins out for Louis. I think it's time for a new queen. I think it's time for a new king. But, but Lauren, you make jokes about you, You've been making jokes about Lauren. Okay, that's the difference. Okay, but but, people people back. Okay, but, but you, you actually laugh. said you this there laughing. Isn't. No, I didn't. I would never do Love Island, <laughs> but if you're in a hot country, it is kind of a little bit like a free holiday. It wasn't really for me. Maybe we didn't get to see that. You only see 40 minutes of it. That's what I just said. That's why I said maybe we didn't get to see all of it. Yeah, you didn't. <laughs> well, that's what I just said. And being your authentic self, I think, is the key to whatever gameplay is, um, which I know seems like an oxymoron, but right. Louis is being his authentic self. You were as well. Um, you described yourself as frenemies. I mean, he's the gift that keeps on giving for us. He, Louis is, he's such a... I feel like he's, we're, we're similar, but not similar, as in we're, we, we're quite polarising characters. So he'll say what he thinks and I'll say what I think and then that's why we clash. Yeah. But then we'd also have, like, these really nice conversations about random things, about music, about family. Like, we bonded over, I spoke about my grand that passed, he spoke about his dad's mum mm. that he was really close to and, you know, it was, it was such a weird... Um, dynamic and then yeah. obviously you're living with somebody 24-7 yeah. and I don't know if but my bed was quite close to Louis's bed so it was so weird like we'd wake up in the morning we'd wave at each other and then maybe by like 12 o'clock we'd be like at each other's throats and then by one o'clock we'd be fine again yeah it was just literally like this and sometimes you just be like Louis please just stop we've all been playing Louis Bingo here on Good Morning Britain along with um, the fans <laughs> watching at home as well wondering which name he's going to throw under the bus next but you were also privy to a lot of great stories as well because obviously Louis has been in the business for yes. years mm -hmm. Case in point, the X Factor yarn from last night. Here you go. X Factor, you was cool. We were in the final and it was Alexandra Burke and JLS. Oh, yes. So I thought, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get Westlife. Oh, yeah. We do fly with our wings, they divvy it up between them. Simon loved Cheryl. He got her Beyonce. It was all over. Once, they, once he booked Beyonce, he knew it was curtains. Oh. You and then he didn't, I didn't find out until the middle of the week. 
See, when you tell stories like that, everyone's like that. I tell know. me more, tell me more. Story. But also, Louis, like, you, I don't know if you've seen it, but he literally will say, and he'll be like, Am I being recorded? And we're like, Louis, we're being recorded all the time. Does he say that? He'll literally Am I be, being recorded? He'll be like, he'll be like, do you think they, I'm like, they can, you've got a mic on. That's why he always we he would be the one that broke the rules all the time, because he genuinely would just forget. And he is being his genuine self. Do you think he might win? No. I feel like he's the 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 the, the sl villain slash nice person that we like to get to the end because whether people like him or not, he's extremely entertaining to yeah. watch and he's kept yes. you know it going and we've had and he keeps the fire burning and he like likes to wind everyone up a little bit. You like sometimes you literally be talking to him and he'll be just like giggling to himself and you can see that he's enjoying like winding you up and he'll be like and then you'll be like Louis, stop and he'll be like. And it's just... So yeah. if, you, if you think it's not going to be Louis, who do you think is the winner? So I know who I want to win. I want David to win. Yeah. So I want David to win, because I think David as well has been his total genuine self. And um, he also, when he came in, he was, like, pre-judged. But as you get to know David, he's so warming, he's so caring. And, um, and Louis also is not... A, he hates that David is always singing all the time. Yeah. So that's what he, he just doesn't... Which is quite interesting, because considering he loves music, he's... Doesn't yes. like people singing. But the fact the pipes in the morning great a little bit. Oh, um, finally, was it everything you expected though? I mean, it's, it's hard to predict what's going to happen when you go in there, and you're no stranger to being yeah. in the spotlight. Yeah. Uh, but now this, I would argue, you're, it's a completely different orbit, right? Hundred percent. Oh, I had the best time, honestly. Um, I grew up watching Big Brother. I'm a fan of like reality TV, especially Big Brother. So to actually experience it and see how it all works. And it is, honestly, when you're in it, you it's like the most important thing. And you saw with me and Lauren, we literally had an argument over oranges. Like, what you would never have an argument over oranges <laughs> on a normal day, but there well, it's like the be all and end all. Yeah. So it honestly was the best experience I had. And, and it's, um, yeah, I'm really grateful. Well, you've never come between me and Susanna in the green room over <laughs> banana and good morning, Britain. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned that you'd already done a deep dive into what they, they, were saying about you on social media. What what did you get as the impression that viewers thought about you? Um, I, which I thought it was going to be like, as I went in, they probably were a bit like, who's this girl? Where does she come from? And, you know, because I'm quite confident, I probably knew there was going to be this, oh, you know, she's a bit sure of herself. But my whole thing was um, to kind of just let people see that I have a softer side because mm -hmm. I, what I do online, I'm very opinionated and, mm -hmm. you know, I can come across quite harsh sometimes. So my thing was I wanted to pe people to see that there was two sides and you can be both. You can be a bit fiery and you can be yeah. soft as well. Sure. Yeah. And do you think... And is that what they were saying? Well, some people were like, I couldn't stand her in the beginning, now I love her. So yeah. um, that's the... That there is we go. All, that's yeah. all you I needed. That one yeah. and yeah. you close yeah. the laptop. Yeah. Yeah. Put yeah. it on your wall. Yeah. 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 Absolutely, get that <laughs> laminated. You've been gold. And thank, thank you for you. coming in this morning because I know you. you need your kit. This is where I need my own spin-off show. I know it's a bit of a lame pitch, but you, we need to continue this conversation. I know you've got a podcast. You, I know you want to... You have a spin-off show every morning here, 7.40 on Good Morning Britain. That's the show. That's the money. Uh, Thank you. Zizi, great to have you back on the show. I feel you. like you're one of us. Yes. We just lent you out to Celebrity I Big know, Brother. I know, now I'm back. Yeah, great to see you. It's Thank you. To see well you. done, well done.